Hi guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel, ESP Daniela, where I talk about everything and anything related to education, financial aid, overall money advice, as well as professional development tips. So as you already know from the title of this video, I will be discussing some scholarships that are due soon for those in law school or those about to, who are trying to pursue law school, as well as where to find additional law school scholarships. So let's get into this video. Now, before I get started, of course, I have to give you all a brief background if you don't already know about me. So I am a scholarship expert. I have been able to win 30 scholarships between undergrad and graduate school. And over the years, since 2017, I have helped a lot of students across the globe win millions and millions of dollars of scholarships for themselves and graduate debt-free. So with that being said, you are definitely in the right place by watching this video. Now, it's time for me to start sharing my screen with you guys so you can see some of these scholarships that I'm talking about. Okay, so first we we have these scholarships that can be found on lsac.org or law school admissions council. Org. So if we scroll down here, it says, so first, please note that while the application deadlines for some of the below scholarships have passed, we recommend checking back periodically as the programs listed are active and new opportunities will become available in the future. So now that that's out the way, let's look at some of these scholarships, shall we? So we have this scholarship, which is due July 1st. And as I'm recording this video, it is June 2022. And this is called the Seven Sage 7K Law School Scholarship. It's worth $7,000 for pre-med and incoming 1L students. Winners are selected based on response to two short essay prompts. And again, the deadline is July 1st. Another great scholarship you can apply to is this one from Batter Scott Future Lawyers of America Scholarships. So this one is a $2,500 scholarship for undergraduate law school applicants and current law school students who come from financially disadvantaged families. This one is due June 21st, and you will also have to write a 500-word essay. Then we have this scholarship called the Barbary Law Previews. One Lawyer Can Change the World Scholarship. This one is due June 1st, and it's worth $10,000 for incoming 1L students and winners are selected based on response to an essay prompt. Now, I recommend that you go ahead and check out all the other scholarships listed on this website. As you can see, quite a few are also due in April. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to move forward onto another resource you can use to find law school scholarships. So next up on our list, we have these scholarships that are listed on admissionsdean.com. And as you can see, they created a scholarship finder specifically for law school scholarships. Now, if you scroll down, as you can see, you can filter by your demographic, you can filter by your certain background or interest within the legal field. Additionally, if you go down to here where it says for students residing in the following states, you can go to your certain states. So for example, I am based in Texas, so if I were a law school student based in Texas, I would click that state, and then the page would reload, and as you can see, it's showing all of these scholarships specific to those based in Texas. Now, if you don't want to use any of the filters and just home through the scholarships that they have, then all you have to do is reset the page, and you can see all of these scholarships, as well as their amounts and when they're due, organized. There are also various scholarships available on bow.org. So if you type in the keyword law or perhaps like legal and then filter by deadline. So as I'm recording, these are the closest deadlines to right now, such as August 1st, August 16th. And they have all of these law school scholarships that you can apply to. So I highly recommend that you also use this resource and just so you guys know, I offer several scholarships here on bold.org that you should definitely apply to. So next up, we have these scholarships that are listed on the lgbtqbar.org. So with their website, they offer scholarships for not only those who identify as LGBTQ+, but also those who are allies to the LGBTQ community. So if we scroll down here, you can see that they have a scholarship specifically for trans and non-binary students. And the criteria, the eligibility says that you have to be trans or non-binary, a person of color, and register to take a U.S. bar exam in the summer of insert year, because as you are watching this video, whenever that may be, I imagine this type of scholarship is one that's given out every single year. And then it also says, or first legal job does not start until September 1st or later. And as far as how to apply, as I am recording this video, the application is closed. But again, I imagine this one will reopen again. So make sure to check up on it. They also have another scholarship here that is offering three scholarships of $2,500 each annually. And as you can see, they have other scholarships you can apply to. But I want to go ahead and scroll down 
all the way to the bottom here. So down here, it shows a whole bunch of other scholarships that you can apply to, whether or not you identify with the LGBTQ plus community. So as you can see, they have scholarships listed from specific law schools, also from other bar associations and law firms. With that being said, if you are trying to look for scholarships for law school, then make sure to really look into law firms as well as bar associations. And to really increase your chances of winning those law school scholarships, it really helps to look into local law Law firms that can only be applied to those students like studying locally within that city or within that overall state in order to apply. And then also as far as bar associations, similar to this one, which is the LGBTQ plus bar, if you can find one that is specific to a certain demographic, you're going to be able to filter out a lot of the competition. Now, as far as winning these law school scholarships, which I can imagine are very competitive because everyone in law school is like super, super smart, right? Well, I have have a lot of videos here on my YouTube channel on how to write scholarship essays because as you saw earlier with the video, many of them required a essay, whether that's like 500 words, a thousand words, etc. And if you want even more of an understanding of how to win scholarships and to drastically increase your chances of winning them, I actually have a book and an online course that thoroughly teaches my step-by-step -step strategies to winning so many scholarships for myself and even more for other students alike. And to give you guys an example of a law school student who was able to win using this, this student as seen on your screen was able to win a $10,000 scholarship for law school. So that just goes to show you that the advice can work for law school, middle school, nursing school, whatever concentration. There have been so many students from various concentrations who have been able to win using the scholarship algorithm. I also encourage you guys to watch the series of videos I have here on YouTube about scholarships that are given out by corporate companies. As an example of a student who won some of these corporate scholarships, she was able to win over 40 scholarships and and she is pursuing law school. So make sure to watch those videos. And again, make sure to consider looking into my book and or online course. And if you're interested in the online course specifically that comes with my book already bundled in, as well as my personalized services, such as essay editing, application reviewing, interview coaching, all of that already bundled in into the VIP version of the course. And if you're wanting to get that for significantly cheaper, then use this promo code right here. Anywho, that's all that I have for today's video. I hope that this was helpful and informative. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below if this was helpful and if you have any future video suggestions that I should cover on this YouTube channel. That's it. Bye.